Welcome to another One Love Review. On this one, we're gonna do another Kasori product, um, another air fryer. Since the other one was so amazing, um, I gifted this one to the wife um, for her birthday. It's my birthday, birthday month. Pre present. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take this, unbox this, and show y'all the new air fryer slash toaster oven slash all this 71 stuff. It looks like it's gonna be amazing, so. I'm I, excited. If you didn't see the first review for the first Kasori air fryer we did, make sure you check that out. The link will be in the description. And then uh, if you like this one, think about purchasing it. So with that being said, let's get into it because y'all are here to see the product, not hear me talk. So uh, yes. this is the boxing for here. Uh, as you can see, we got the Kasori, the Kasori. It's the air fryer. Um, I'm excited because it can do so much more than just air fryer. Yes, this one does it all. I mean, yeah. it says all in one features 12. 12. Versatile uh, presets. She's reading a box. I'm yeah. going to do the same thing. It toasts, it <laughs> does rotisserie. I'm excited about that. It broils, dehydrates, ferment, whoever ferments stuff, air fries, warms, bakes, the whole nine. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Open this baby up for everybody. They want to see the. Now, my other Kasori, again, if you didn't see the video, go check that one out. It's a little bit smaller, and during Christmas time, because I'm a cook, and I, we have everyone over, I put a whole chicken in mine. Um, <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> so, I'm excited because this one can do a rotisserie. This bad baby out. All right. Let's take that out and do it by the I don't hit my, my Star Wars cup, cause you know. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Mm-hmm. All right. This is a big. Make sure I put it. Let's see what we got here in the box. Is this the rotisserie thing? I have no clue. It comes with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what that does yet, but we'll figure it out. We'll Hold figure it out. Right? Okay. <laughs> See here. You, you need to put the box down so you can lift it up? I just want to get the plastic off first. Okay. Get that out of here. And then, uh, yeah. Let's uh, pull that cord out of there. And then I set it down. All right. Oh, it has one. Oh, so let's tell them what's coming in the box. So you got, let's move this first. So of course, primarily, we have the air fryer slash toaster oven. It is beautiful. It beautiful. is nice. Yeah, so uh, it comes with, of course she's getting ahead of us, straight to the instructions as always. <laughs> I'm actually going towards the recipes. <laughs> you have your drip tray. Little thingy. Uh, let's see what else we get in this box. We got the griddle piece, the griddle piece. Get rid of that. This must be for like fries and things, little net basket. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I that's like that. cool. Yeah, I like that. And then. This must be the drip pan that goes in the bottom for like air fryers. I guess we're gonna have to pull out some instructions and figure this all out. So of course she already opened up the instruction. It does come with a cook yeah. book or recipes. Yeah, recipes. Let me see the recipes. Let's show the people, babe. Don't just yeah. throw it on the thing. You, you're so excited, you just. I know. <laughs> so it comes with a little recipe book. Oh, what? That looks, who? Pistol well, the, pinwheels. The husband also purchased a bigger Kasori air fryer oven cookbook for me. That one was actually for the other air fryer and for this one, but it has 600 recipes for the Kasori. See, we serious about these air fryers, man. The first one was so amazing. 
you know, we had to take it up a notch. So. I typically, I honestly, I use my air fryer every single day. I make everything in, in my air fryer from fish to chicken to burgers. I'm not talking about frozen stuff. I'm talking about stuff that you actually um, have to prepare and, and actually cook it. And it cooks it way faster than you can put the oven on. Mm -hmm. The house stays cooler with this as opposed to putting the oven on and then it gets hot in here. So it's mm -hmm. really, really good. I love it. It's a game changer for me. All right. So give me some instructions on how this thing works. All right. So it says before first use, setting up, remove all packaging, which you did, mm -hmm. around and inside the oven. So make sure inside the oven there's no little plastic thing like I see the little plastic in here. A little tapey tape. Mm -hmm. Placed on a stable level heat resistant surface away from anything that can be damaged by heat, which this is heat resistant. Wash all accessories and clean the oven's interior. See pages, dry and place accessory back in oven. So we have Plug to... Plug in, turn the function knob to toast, and turn the temp time temperature knob to level seven. So I don't know all that mm -hmm. stuff. Because it's gonna, okay, so this is what it says. Running the toast function with no food in the oven will eliminate any residue or traces of odor that may remain after shipping. So it is an important thing to do. Uh, okay, you so see? do yeah. the preheated to get all the, the nasty chemicals out yes. of it. That they probably clean Press it with. start, cancel, the button will light up and the display will show the timer counting down. The oven will stop heating and beep when finished. Test run. Mm. A test run will help you become familiar with your oven. Make sure it's working correctly and clean if and clean it if um, possible residue is in the process. Make sure there's no food or packaging in the oven and plug it in. Turn the function off to toast. And so, yeah, so it's the same thing. Okay. So you, you open them here and make sure there's no plastic. Everything is clean. Yes. Okay. So I guess now we just need to turn it on and heat it up. Yeah. And can I have uh, the black one made? Because I'm going to just rinse it out while you heat that up. All right. So while we preheat and rinse, um, just kick back, relax, and this will take about that many seconds. Okay. So we're actually going to walk you through how to preheat this thing. And we also forgot to show you that this is a rotisserie. Uh, holder, you can put a whole chicken in there and rotate and rotisserize it. I'm excited about that. So, how do we heat this thing up? Okay, so turn the function knob to toast. Toast? Mm hmm. So, I didn't have to hit a power button or anything on this. It just pretty much, you plug it in, it's already on, it keeps your time and everything like a microwave. And then I'm just going to turn this. And turn the time temp knob to level seven. Um, and as I turn this, the blinking light goes on the different settings. You have toast, bagel, pizza, bake, roast, air fry, broil, cookies, uh, rotisserie, dehydrate, ferment, and warm. So it's got quite a few settings. And I am now on toast. Okay, so Come you're on toast and the, and the knob... Uh, it's to level seven. Level seven. So I'm guessing it's the second knob down here is the one we're going to use to get to level seven. Yes. So when I turn that, the numbers change from <laughs> one to seven. We're on seven. Okay, perfect. All right. So press the start. Start. Begin heating. The button will light up, and the display will show the timer counting down. Oh, so it's ten minutes to preheat and. Prepperize. The oven will stop heating and beep several times when finished. Ah. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and let this thing beep, 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 beep. And then we'll be right back in three, two, one. All right. So we are preheated now. It's nice and warm. Oh, yeah. You feel, I feel the it. heat. <laughs> so this gets pretty hot. So Ooh, you want to be hot, careful. Hot. But um, the handle is cool as it can be. You can feel that heat coming through that glass. Um, woo, yeah, that's hot. So we want to remove. No, we don't need to remove anything. We're good. Um, so it preheated and 
So now we want to put something in it and cook it just to see how it comes out. Yeah. Um, do we want to toast or air fry? They were going to air fry. Air fry. We want to gotta go straight to the air fry because we got spoiled with the other. I know. Pasori, I know. So. Well, so, I don't want to dehydrate anything, or I just want to do some like a uh, potato skins. I just want to see how they come out and um, yeah. So. Okay, so this is not a cooking channel, so we're just reviewing this product. So we just got some uh, Friday's um, potato skins that we're going to put in here, air fry, and see how they come out. Um, so, babe, if you want to grab those, and we'll go ahead and stick them in. Okay. Um, what rack do we want to use? Uh, the first rack. The first rack. So I guess you can use whatever rack you want. You're up to your discretion. Slide that in there. There you go. So this has a lot more functions than the other Kasori. I tell you that. Let me just put two in. Yeah, let's just put two in and see how they come out. Yeah. On the air fry function. So we'll push that on in. I'm sure I'll I'll learn more about it because it has so many different functions. Yes. It's, it's definitely different than my just regular air fryer for yes. sure. So we want to air fry. I don't know how to do anything on this. This okay. is a review and we just open it and we're using it. So. All right. So what we want to do, turn the function knob to air fry. Which is this first top function one. We're going to go air fry. Optionally, customize the temperature and time. You can do this anytime during the cooking, except during preheating. Turn the time knob da, 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 between one to six minutes. So, um, one to six press minutes. the temperature knob once. Control the turn up to adjust the temperature between 150 to 400 degrees. She's completely losing okay. me right now. So <laughs> I know I'm losing him. I'm going to just start turning stuff. <laughs> so, so why would you do? put it on? Right. So, to adjust the time, you use the bottom knob. So I'm going to turn that to how many minutes? Put it think? to like three minutes. Because the good thing about this. Okay, so when you push it, then you can change it to, to the temperature. And then you push it again, it goes back to the time. And you just turn it to get to the desired time. Okay, so put it on three minutes and put it on 380. Three minutes. Temperature. Temperature, 380. 375, 380. 380. All right. That was simple. It's very easy. And I only guessed that from my other air fryer. So what I was saying is that my other air fryer, you know, you have to close it so you don't see how the things are cooking until it's time and then you take it out and open it. But this, voila, I can see it as it's cooking, which is really good. And it also has a light. Right. Oh, yeah. So this first button over here, closest to the door, you push it, turns on a light on the inside, which is pretty cool. That's cool. I like that. So this, that's going to be huge as far as using the air fryer, because that's probably the only drawback now that we think about it with the yeah. original Kasori we bought, was you'd have to stop it and open it to see how your food was, yeah. or how it was turning out and make sure it was right. With this, with the glass door, you can see what it's doing and you'll know, okay, I need to go ahead and stop it or leave it in there a little longer. So that's pretty cool. Very cool. So we want to start this. Yes. So there's a start cancel button right here. That's what you use to start it and stop it. So we're just going to push that. Start. There it goes. Yeah. Yay. Right. So we'll see how that comes out. I am excited. I'm ready to cook a whole chicken, a rotisserie at that. <laughs> because my other air fryer, I was able to put the chicken in and it came out phenomenal. But this, it's going to be able to churn and just the whole thing cook really nice. We're going to cook some pigeon. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no we're not cooking pigeons. Uh, pigeons on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, we're not. All right. So while this is cooking, we're going to do a quick countdown and it'll be done by the time uh, I count to three. One, two, three. I'm so glad you're smart though to realize these things. I would have walked away to do something and came back and were like, what? Okay, so a um, couple of things. 
The first one is when you first start the air fryer, it will be preheating. Um, you can skip the preheating by just hitting the start button and it'll skip the preheat. Um, two, the time knob is in minutes. And so when I thought I was putting three minutes, I actually put three <laughs> hours. So um, it's actually been three minutes though. So, but just remember the first number is actually a minute. So it'd be one minute, 30 minutes, one hour. Um, yeah, so this is a little overcooked, but we're gonna stop it now because it looks great. Like I said, having this window here is amazing. You can see the food and see how it's cooking. <laughs> you got the drip because if not, we would have been burning something. See me, I come home, I put everything in, I set it and I go. So had it been three hours instead of three minutes, it would have been burnt. Blacking potato skins. <laughs> All, right, All right, so we're gonna stop this and I'll hit cancel. And that stops it. Then we'll go ahead and open it. Make sure you got your oven mitts. You don't want to burn the hands. And smells good. Looks crispy. Cheese looks melted. Babe, I'm gonna let you try both of them. I know. I just realized that it's bacon. I don't. I don't eat bacon, so she's gonna test these out for me and let me know how they are. So you just wanna push that back in? Um, I was gonna take it out because I was gonna make some fish while I... Well, let's test this first and then we'll go on to the fish after this. Hey, that rhymed too. Oh, bars. Okay. All right, let me know, let me know what you get. Let me know what you get. <laughs> All right. It's hot, is it it's hot? It's hot. <laughs> hot. It's hot, for sure it's hot. It's crispy. Crispy? Mm-hmm. Mmm, it smells delicious. Now back in my day, I could eat a whole plate of bacon. But those days are over now. I get the, gotta get right, I gotta get right. It's hot. Good and hot. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it. But it's good. It's Kasori. We it's knew it was gonna do a great job yeah. on stuff like this. Um, another great feature for this is you can actually download the V-Sync app from uh, through Apple or Google, and you can control this using your phone, the app. And also with that, if you have uh, Amazon Alexa, you can actually voice command this thing. This thing is crazy. That is awesome. This is, yeah, this is the new one, baby. It's yeah, this is awesome. New and improved. I, I hate to, we'll still use the other one, but this one is just, ugh. This one, I mean, I can do everything. You can do your toast in here, bagels. It's to do smaller things as well as bigger things. Yeah, and there's tons of room in here. I mean, I don't know if you can tell from the TV, but there's a lot of space inside. You can, um, yeah, pretty much anything you can think of, you'll be able to, to cook inside of there. Um, I think we'll have to do a follow-up review doing something reticerized. Mm -hmm. Have to do some Cornish hands or something and show you how that works. Oh yeah, we can do that because we can put two of them. Yeah. And let them cook let there. Them rotate. That would be great. But uh, yeah, so what we want to do next is we want to try some fish. Yes, I have some fish that I, I wanted to see how it was going to be in there. Yep. So what do you want to use to do the fish? I want to use the broil. The broil. Yeah. So I want to go to my function button here. And it's right below air fryer, so straight to broil. And I'm gonna put it right on here. Okay, do you wanna take out this top? You don't have to. You gonna just leave the top yeah, wrap? You can leave it there. Okay. So she got some fish. Now I'm gonna eat some of this fish. You best believe that. Oh, yeah. So we know the air fryer function is awesome. Lime juice. And then, uh, now we're gonna check this broil front function out. All right. You got the oven mitt, so I can't really. Yeah, I got it, I got it. I'm gonna be burning myself. Now I like this because I didn't have, obviously, a broil function on my regular yeah. uh, Kasori air fryer, because it was just an air fryer, but 
Um, so I'm excited about this. All right, so we're on broil. So do I need to? It already preset for 15 minutes. Now we know that's 15 minutes, not 15 seconds. <laughs> now I don't want to do that again. So we're just going to hit start. Now it goes to the preheat function, but since we've already been using it, we don't need to preheat it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to hit this button again and it automatically starts. That's good. It's good to know it bypasses it. Yep. So as this broils, we're going to skip this so you don't have to sit there and watch it broil for 15 minutes and then uh, see what the finished product looks like. So we'll see you back here in three to the two to the one. All right, so we're actually going to stop it early because um, this broil, it's at 450. We probably should have adjusted that so it wouldn't be 450 but we left it at 450 and it's pretty much done so we're going to stop this oh yeah i can smell that fish yeah i'm pretty sure that's well yes cooked. well oops sorry mm. sorry I, feel, mm, I smell it yeah oh yeah oh yeah and it's just like anything you know you you play with it and until you figure out what's the best setting and yeah even with the last air fryer you know, we did the reviews, but actually when we went back and used it, we started learning a little bit more how to, what times to put it on, to cook certain things. So you just get a feel for it after a while. But for the review purposes, we just want to throw it in there and give you a raw review of what how it works. And it's amazing. It smells good. I mean, just so y'all can see that, look at this. Nice, hot. That's on the broil front function. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, a little piece on I the I know pan. it's hot though, so I didn't want to touch it. <laughs> and the good thing about these things, they're so easy to clean. You let that thing cool down and it's like non-stick. So it's like so easy to just wipe off and clean. Let's see what this is. All right. You really seasoned that good. Dark. Is that lime? Yeah, you know I. Mm-hmm. This is good. Well, she put on this something a little spicy. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he was gonna have a piece of fish because she doesn't really like spicy, but it's not a lot. It's just no. a hint. No, it's good. It's cooked all the way through. And it's juicy. Mm -hmm. It's not dry fish. Not dry at all. Mm. So are you done it again? So good. I'm very pleased. Does Kasori have stock? I'm about to stock in Kasori. Of course it does. I'm about to check into that because they're awesome. Yeah, so definitely loving it. We'll definitely be back because I want to do the, um, the Cornish, Cornish hens rotisserie. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I think this is going to be my new favorite toy. Although I'm going to be like blessed with abundant gifts this month because it's my 50th birthday. So we do have some more reviews coming, so be sure to stay tuned. But for this one, if you think you will be interested in getting this, give this a thumbs up and comment below and let us know if this is something you would be consider buying. If you um, like the first Kasori that we reviewed, you will love this one. This is, whoo. This is like the... You'll definitely love it because you don't have to have all these different tools in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. A toaster oven, uh, you know, all these different things. You you have one thing that does a whole mess of things. This is definitely the Cadillac of the air fryers. Mm-hmm. So, and remember, you can download the VSeek app, control it from your app on your phone, use Alexa and talk to it, and... Well, we're going to try some of those functions. I don't know. I'm not big on using apps to control things, but maybe we'll do it just so we can show you how it works. But till then, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my fish. And I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review. And we will do a follow-up review soon. And like. Subscribe. Yes, please. Subscribe. Subscribe. Got a lot of people watching, though. I appreciate your viewing. Really appreciate it. But if, now if you just hit subscribe and, you know, give us some more support, we'd really appreciate it. Yeah, we'll be back. Yep. Thank you very much. And 
Deuces. <laughs>